Hello people of the web and YouTube, K here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to hook up a Wiimote to your computer. As you saw in a previous video of mine, I, t I taught you how to hook up a Wiimote to your Android device. It's not going to be as simple as hooking it up to this. It's going to be a little bit more tricky and complex hooking it up to a computer, but anyway, let's get on to the tutorial. Okay. First of all, you're going to need GlovePie. I'll make sure to leave a download link somewhere in the description. Second of all, you want to make sure your computer has Bluetooth built in it. And if it doesn't, like mine doesn't, you have to buy a dongle, hook it up, install the software. And once everything's running, go in, make sure your Bluetooth's on, right click it, er, and hit add a Bluetooth device. And my computer's being slow, I'm sorry bros, just give it a minute. I'm just going to turn off rain meter here. So I have a feeling it's not working because of that. I have too much crap running. <laughs> okay, there it is. Um, what you want to do is you want to click on My Devices, Set Up and Ready to Use, then push 1 and 2 on your Wiimote simultaneously until the lights blink. Hit Next. It should start scanning for devices, and it will be called the one Nintendo RVL or something. It should be pretty noticeable and obvious when you see it. And just periodically keep clicking on it if it's taking a while. So these will stop blinking after a while. As you can see, it went off right there. <laughs> Make sure you hit that, hit next. Keep hitting those. Okay, make sure you don't use a pass key. And before you go on, make sure the lights are blinking because this is where it actually installs the driver software, which is needed for this to work. So hit next and uh, give it a minute or two. Especially when my computer is being really slow. Hopefully, this will work on the first try. You should get a little notification down here in the corner about it installing the Bluetooth peripheral or HID or something, whatever it's called. <laughs> but if you don't get that, most likely it didn't install the driver software and your thing timed out. Okay, once that's done, hit finished. You can close out of that. And once you want to do from there is you want to make sure you have... Um, Glove Pie open, right? And you can either program your own script by hitting GUI and coding the keys manually, or you can go in and load your own. In my case, I'm going to load my own, and and perhaps in another video, I'll teach you how to make your own Wiimote script. But for now, I'm just going to be using a built-in one or one I got online. I really don't know where I got this one. Motion Mouse, and hit Run. As you can see. My Wiimote is hooked up. I can play games with this. I can program every button to do whatever I want. And uh, it is a little bit frisky. And if your controller happens to go off through the video like mine did, because my batteries are really low, if it happens to go off, just follow the same steps again and hit run and it should work fine. But if you have a good enough Bluetooth adapter or really good like built-in Bluetooth you can just push one and two and sometimes it'll reinstall automatically and you won't have to fuss through all them steps but on my computer you have to hit these and you have to go through all the steps again well other than that bros um, I guess before I go I'll talk about what else GlovePie can do since GlovePie is a really amazing program I love using it like on a daily basis um, you can do everything with pretty much GlovePie. You can program any, pretty much any controller. You can hook a PS3 up. Can, yeah, if I can talk. <laughs> you, know, you can hook up a PS3 controller to this. I mean, just plug the cord in, hook it up, and program the buttons. You could load in the Wii Balance Board. You can load in the guitars. I mean, you can 
you can pretty much load anything into this and just set it for what you want like we want this to be keyboard perhaps all you do is you would select the key you want hit edit and put your input device like we want this Wiimote to type in A like you just select Wiimote and you put in the button you would push like let's say we want the B button back here to be A you would select B hit apply and hit run that's how simple this program is I mean I use it for everything like no lie I'll be recording my videos I'll have this set up and I'll go and enable the camera disable the camera just like that it's, it's a versatile program um like I believe now in the new update that they just recently had um you can hook up a uh, connect and actually do motion commands which I have no clue how it works because I can't load the driver software and use that that's why I'm a version lower in glove pie uh, just yeah well learn that bros even if you don't want to hook a Wiimote up to your computer I recommend this program for you just give it a shot try it with whatever you got and if you like it make sure to support these guys and hopefully they'll come out with some more and better software soon well other than that bros it's pretty much it for my tutorial and review of glove pie so DTPK signing off I'll see you guys in the next video peace okay